Hi, I'm Daniel Wendell, and yes, we're doing another detailing video. So today on the other side of the country, there is an event going on that it surrounds the everything Porsche. On the East Coast, we are celebrating in my shop by working on this 2015 GT4 Club Sport. For most people, if you take a glance at this car, it looks like a relatively normal Cayman, but ain't no title for this car. The DMV doesn't know it exists. This car is a non-street legal factory race car. In typical Porsche fashion, we will give you less, but charge you more. So this car is completely stripped out on the interior. It's fully, fully built for racing. Carbon doors, it's got an onboard air jack system. A little bit different of a rear wing. Up front, nestled up here is a 100 liter fuel cell, the, the, the 24 hour light kit for endurance racing. This car is a three-way adjustable Moton suspension kit. In the, the previous videos that we've done with Gears and Gasoline, we focused on mostly street cars. And one thing that we wanted to focus on was cars that are going to be abused a little bit more than street cars. One way that we can help cars like this is by protecting them from you know, on-track debris flying at them hot rubber from the tires, uh, rocks from hitting the apexes, um, or even just trailering mistakes. Something as simple as that. This is wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. You will be bumping other people, even though you are, you know, these cars are, are not cheap. It is a tool. It is something that is meant to achieve one goal, winning. We are going to be doing a paint protection film install, protecting it with SunTech paint protection film to help minimize any on-track damage as well as off-track damage to this car. Uh, the headlight of this of this car obviously has uh, seen an impact um, and therefore is cracked. Something that could have been avoided with paint protection film possibly. With paint protection film it is a physical film that you are applying to the paint. It is not a ceramic coating, it is not a sealant, it is not a carnauba wax. It is something that is a much more substantial barrier to flying objects. This car has a racing livery on it. The vinyl needs to be removed prior to washing the car, decontaminating the car, polishing the car, and subsequently protecting the car. To, to properly remove the vinyl, we're gonna steam it, heat it up, and then pull it off the car moving throughout the car, taking off all the, all the vinyl that we can. wash it. Normal process washing it, two bucket method, um, using grid guards, you know, it's the safest way we can to minimize the work that we're going to have to do to polish the car. After we wash it, we're going to clay bar it. Remove the bonded contamination, the stuff that doesn't come off when we're washing the car. Go through, remove any track rubber that's on the car. At that point, we'll go ahead and uh, dry it off, throw it up on the scissor lift, get it up in the air. My background is detailing and specifically paintwork correction. Back when I was 12, 13 years old, that is what got me infatuated with this industry. Being able to rewind the years on a car and literally see the years of neglect and age fall off of a car. That's what got me into this. At a certain point, I realized that there's only so many times that I can polish a car. There's only so much paint on the car to, to, to be able to remove the top layer of. 
at that point, I realized that I needed the best protection possible. So in my searches, I found paint protection film. The drawbacks at that point outweighed the benefits. For a long time, paint protection film, the industry has been plagued with the first generation film. It yellowed up, cracked, looked horrible on your car after a year, two years, five years, 10 years, whatever it was. And it's something that now we're at a point with the technology that me as a enthusiast, as well as a shop owner, I felt like I needed to offer this product because it's great. For this install, we're gonna be using SunTech paint protection film. SunTech is one of the biggest paint protection film manufacturers in the world and has several different types of film that were created for several different purposes. SunTech Ultra is their typical 10 year warranty, you know, seven, six and a half, seven mil thick film that, you know, great film. It's what we use on just about everything. SunTech recently came out with a 11 and a half mil film, something that's a good bit thicker for, for higher impact areas, such that would be on a race car. So the objective of this install, we're going to try to do the whole car with the 11 and a half mil film. The hood won't be an issue at all. The fenders shouldn't be an issue at all. The bumper, I'm a little nervous about because it it's harder to manipulate a thicker film. I've been doing paint protection film for several years, but I, every day I challenge myself and today we're going to get challenged. Paint protection film is a product that is a, it's a wet application process. In order to get a, a, the best install possible, the surface has to be prepped properly, make sure it is completely clean of every single piece and particle of debris, dirt, anything that could get under the film. It's something that if there is any dirt or debris or eyelash, don't blink, it is very noticeable. The film is obviously clear, so you gotta make sure that you are uh, working in a clean environment, um, being very careful. So I have a, a what's called a plotter that you feed the film through. Basically, you hook it up to a computer where you got software um, that goes through and scores the film, and then you can you go through and, and weed it is what it's called, taking off the, the parts of the film that you're not going to be using and not going to be putting on the car. It's a couple different ways of doing the install. I bulk my hoods um, to be able to to not be governed by the pattern pattern as much. The fenders, I'll probably modify the pattern with. The bumper, I'll modify the pattern with, extending it to, to be more concealed. One area that is always brought up into discussion in the comments below is the price tag associated with the work that I do. Typically what most customers come to us for with paint protection film is a full front end. My full front ends are hood, bumper, fenders, mirrors, headlights, fog lights, A-pillars, and the leading edge of the roof. Currently at this point in time, I do my full fronts for $1,700. This job is a roughly about a week long job. Not just one guy working on it all week, it's something that with working with a team of people, it would take about a week to do this job. With no, normal paint protection film, not the thick stuff, not the 11 and a half mil, this, this job would probably be around six or $7,000. Maybe even a little bit more depending on, on the prep that was in, that's gonna be involved with it. It's something that, that is not a cheap price tag. 
when you have a car of this level or when you have a brand new car, it is worth it to protect it. I have seen $7,000 paint protection film installs pay off in 15 minutes of going into the grocery store and coming out to your car. You're sitting there saying, what are the odds of somebody dinging the back left corner? Okay, now the right corner, now the door. You're playing an odds game. For the unique enthusiasts among us, it is worth the price tag for the peace of mind to be able to take our cars out and rip them, knowing that it's okay. So we wrapped up the GT4 project, got it ready to go down to VIR tomorrow morning, bright and early for Hyperfest. We wrapped the whole body in the 11 and a half mil uh, SunTech paint protection film. Stoked about how the job came out. Looks awesome. Uh, really happy to be able to, to be using SunTech's paint protection film. With a, a car that's, that sees this much track time, no other type of car that's going to be put through anything more rigorous than this one will be. Um, endurance races, uh, you know, tra general track days, etc. Aside from just being a GT4, it's a very special one. Uh, so we wanted to protect it, you know, make sure that uh, we're being good stewards of, our, of the cars that pass through our ownership. And uh, there's no better, better form of protection than paint protection film.